Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Box. Tracy here and I have some yarn to show you. Yippee! So first of all, I've just um, recorded my chat. Um, it keeps kind of, the, the, the brightness keeps going up, down, up, down. Because the sun outside is, and there's blustery wind, it's making it go behind trees. So it looks a little bit odd. Now I've tried my best to block it as much as I can. But if it does that, do apologise. There's not much I can do about it. It's nature. It's mother nature. So I've got some yarn and some of this is restocking of yarn and some of this is new and some of it is amazing. And um, so this is the signet yarn that I carry in my shop, hobbybox.co.uk. And um, I carry two lines. I might get more in the future, but for now, there's just two. One is the boho spirit which is a four weight but i say that very tongue in cheek it is almost identical in fact i think it is identical to red heart unforgettable because there is one color that i have of red heart unforgettable that is exactly the same as this because i've put them side by side and they are absolutely incredible and identical and if I ran out, I only had two balls of Unforgettable, but I could actually put this in as a third and you wouldn't tell because it is absolutely identical. Now, this is Boho Spirit Horizon. I don't remember what it was called um, for uh, Red Heart Unforgettable, but I do have two balls of it somewhere. One I've started using and the other one intact. But this is gorgeous. This is all of the kind of colors muted colors of the rainbow now i did bring two in one for you one for me to show you there's the other one um and this is as i say a four weight although it's quite uh thin enough to be a dk really and i think the same is true of unforgettable i'm not gonna be able to read this unless maybe if i might be able to if I put my glasses on so you can look at this and there is kind of a little swatch of it there. This is 100 grams, 240 meters, um, NM, NM, 2.4, whatever that is. A four to a 4.5 crochet hook, they're saying. You can wash it to 30 degrees and you can dry clean it, but that is all. It is 100% premium acrylic. I think I might have already said that. And that is horizon no i lie harmony horizon is a little bit later harmony is one of my favorites it's just gorgeous but it has an absolutely beautiful way of working up when you work with it and you look at the definition of your stitches you can really see that this is beautiful quality yarn it's got that sheen and um i don't know there's only a few yarns that have ever done that as I've worked with them. And the Northern Lights by James C. Brett was one of them. I love the way that looked, the stitch definition. And the one, this one is no exception. So that's Harmony. That's a restock. Now, I haven't had this one in stock for a very long time. It's almost like a new yarn for me now, but it's called Sapphire. And it is incredible. Now, they look different when you look at them like this. These yarn boobies don't match. But I wanted to bring both of these to see what colours you can find on the inside of this yarn. So you can see all of the spectrum that they have. And this is Sapphire. All the rest of the info is exactly the same. Beautiful. I, I love that one. As you know, I love blue. So, um, yeah, it's, it's kind of cool. And I've got to find the other one of you. There it is. These are festival again i brought these so you could see the difference they are the same but obviously that's what's on the inside of this and that is on the inside of this so uh, yeah that's festival all the colors that you could expect to find at a music festival and it is gorgeous it's very popular on that that's festival this is a new one and i oh, as soon as I saw it, I had to have some. I ordered lots because I want some myself. It's called Bohem. Like La Bohem. Look at that. Isn't it just dreamy? It's the way those colours. I thought I'd get this one so you could see the colours that are inside. But it is really a beautiful, dreamy, 
colourway. <gasps> I hate that word, colourway. I do. But that's Bohem. <gasps> I love that one. I think this kind of beigeness, it makes that when you pull it back, see, that's the kind of effect you get. It's almost like a dreaminess. I love that. That is beautiful. Now, this one, again, I haven't had in stock for a very long time. And it is called Breeze, I believe. This is Breeze. It's all the colours of pale greens and light greys and blues. It's lovely. That's Breeze. And, um, yeah, there is very pale blue here. It looks, looks grey, but it is extremely pale blue. And um, I'm trying to get it to be the colour. But if I bring it too close, it looks white. But it is a lovely light blue. You see that lovely light blue there? You just see the tinge of it? That's Breeze. Breeze is beautiful. Breeze is bur beautiful. Purdy. So this one, I do have quite a lot of in stock of this. And this is one that I just brought in to show its moonbeam. Harmony also, I just brought in because I didn't want it to feel left out. As if it's got feelings. Now this one, this is deep. And I think I've only brought one of Deep. Deep's beautiful. All those deep purples and deep greens and deep blues. It's lovely. It reminds me of Mermaid, of Red Heart, Unforgettable Mermaid. And um, did I bring two of those? What's this one? This is another one that is new and it's called Soleil. Soleil. I thought I brought two Soleils. I must have not, because that's not Soleil. No, but isn't it lovely? Look at that. I'm sure I had some of these. Maybe I've left it in the bag. But this is Soleil. I love this one. All those rich kind of green tones. And inside we have, look, wow, purple and this kind of deep sort of uh, magenta and purple. It's lovely. You can't really see that as dark purple is it it is more purpley than it looked then look at that gorgeous really is that's lovely okay so this one this is luna luna is pearly too they are lovely all of them luna i'll leave that over is my box full up not quite we have a wall this one is cosmic no it's not it's luna Okay, what happened there then? Are they both Luna? Maybe I had three Lunas. Luna, well, that's a moonbeam, that's why. These were the Lunas. That's why they didn't look the same. Probably. Unless I put it down and picked it up again. I don't know. This one is Luna. And this is Zest. This is Zest. Zest is wowza it reminds me of parrots parrots that's what it reminds me of so i'm gonna put that now that box is definitely full up now so i'm gonna put that back there and bring in my bag because the rest is all in here so i got the red well what was like red heart unforgettable um in the boho spirit let me just take them out of the bag and then when I've shown them to you, I can drop them back in the bag, which is, you know, like a little sneaky peek then. A little sneaky peek. That's a new one. Like I said, some of these are restockies and some of these are brand new. And wow. So this one, this has been out of stock. I'll put it though. It's such a big bag. Put it. I'm, I'm, get down again. Get down, chef. Like, no. <clears throat> Hang on. It's so big it won't <laughs> go down. Okay, this one's been out of stock for a long, long time. It's called Tea Berry or Tay Berry. T E A Berry. Oh, it's probably Tay Berry. But look, isn't it beautiful? Look at all those colours in there. It is absolutely gorgeous. Now, this is the Sprinkles Pop and it is a chunky, a chunky yarn mega popular i was near enough out of stock of most of it so i've got all this new yarn 
there's a little kind of swatchy of how it works up if you knit but this is 100 grams of 100 percent acrylic 40 degree machine wash and cold rinse short spin do not ring do not iron and it knits or crochets to all chunky patterns but i love this yarn i really do it sprinkles pop is gorgeous and i love this one because of all the teals the teal colors are just beautiful in this they really are that's tea berry tea berry i know what the problem is ah i know why i know why i didn't have all those others because i left some in the bag that i have i may have more i may have more of the boho spirit to show you in a moment I forgot, I didn't just have one bag. I had two bags. Right, so now, mystery solved. I'll put the tea berry, tea berry, I don't know, in there. This one, get back, behave yourself, yarn. This one is Tutti Fruity. Now this is a restock and look at that. Isn't it just gorgeous? Look at these. I love these yarns, I really do. Look at all those rich colours that you get in them. They are beautiful, really beautiful. So I don't just stock all of Signet's yarns, but I take what I think are the best of theirs and I'll bring them to you. And these are just gorgeous. So again, that's Tutti Frutti. Oh, Rudy. This is another restocky one. This is uh, Rainbow Sherbet. Rainbow Sherbet is beautiful, as are they all. But these ones, oh, look at those colours. I really love the way this yarn just moves, the colour of it. And in there you've got that yellow and orange and a bit of teal. It is so, so good. And it is really, really squishy. Oh, it smells amazing. <laughs> Where did that voice come from? <clears throat> I don't know. This is a new one. This is a new one. It's called Coconut, Coconutty, Coconutty. So it's got those kind of browns in there as well as the blues. And it's got some really dark colors. Coconutty, that is Coconutty. I like the look of this one. I did see a, something made up with this. It's really lovely. So that's Coconutty couple of yarn boobies of coconutty this one's a restock and this is lavender honey i know that as soon as i look at it because it is one of my favorites look at this one that is gorgeous i know a lot of them have similar colors in but arranged differently so you'll have some of those colors in one some of those colors in another but they are look at that that is beautiful isn't it those oranges in this one, the honey colours, lavender honey. And that brings me to this one, which is a new one. And it is the most popular because when I went on their website and you, you kind of order it, it has a little note by it that says, warning, most popular. So it goes out of stock quite quickly. And this is called Confetti. This is Confetti. So I got this so that you could see how that kind of looks up when you get to that real yellowy part. There is still the top colours being twisted in, but it's not so much um, when you get to the others, you can see more kind of prominent colours. But look at that, isn't it lovely? That's confetti. Go love a bit of confetti. That's beautiful. I love that one. So let's have a look and see the ones I missed. So this will explain, this will explain um why i didn't have all of the colors this one uh where are we this is this is cosmic now the, there was one color um that has gone out of stock indie and i don't think it's coming back it's kind of ended but this is cosmic and cosmic has all these gorgeous colors look at that it's very cosmic yeah, that's Purdy. This one, wow, is fantasy. Look at that. It's gorgeous. 
really is. That's fantasy. And that was out of stock for... And this one, what have we got here? This is the last, but by no means least. Get off me. This is Unicorn. This is another new one. Unicorn. There's all the colours in Unicorn. And again, had a little very popular by the side of it. So that is that is Unicorn. How gorgeous. What one to end with. Wow. So yeah, that's my, um, my latest acquisitions and um i will be uploading those to my website um i'm not sure how long it will take me because some of them are just restocks and it's easy to get them on ever so quickly and both of these shouldn't take too long because even the new ones i've just got to add to existing so um it's just getting it done getting around to it in between uh things i have to do so um keep checking if you what whatever ones it is that you like oh my god look at that isn't it beautiful so yeah just keep checking back and um it won't take me five minutes really to get that done having said that i still haven't managed to upload all those accessories that i bought a little while ago i had a problem um with my um with the behind the scenes part of my website not uh, um if things went and moved in different places after an update but it's now all sorted. It didn't affect the other end, the purchasing end, uh, the customer end. Customer facing side wasn't affected. It was just my side. And I thought, uh, where, where's my stuff gone, basically? So now it's all fixed. I fixed it myself. I did, honestly. It was, it was me. I, I fixed it. So, uh, yeah. Quite proud of myself with that one. Anyway. Thank you for watching. I hope you like it. Which one's your favourite? I think it's impossible to say. It really, really is. <coughs> I just I just love lavender honey. I think that's one of my my ultimate favourites in that one. And uh well, all of the boho spirit. But I have to say that fantasy really rocks my boat. It really does. I like that. So anyway, thank you for watching. And um yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. More yarn coming. Bye for now.